the end result of what I want to do here is actually create an indigo powder from all these. One is I have um, picked my indigo, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip the stalk just like this, and I put it in one of those uh, pails. So this is where the indigo leaves are going in here and get rid of that and yeah and then I'll show you the other two that I've got done so I've got one in here which I can't open the lid <laughs> and then I have another one right here so yeah see it's it's starting and I just did that yesterday so yeah, exciting let me just put this little guy down there there we go so I'll seal the lid back on that one and I'll get busy and get this done I figured since it's raining here and they're gonna go in water I might as well get the last of my indigo done so this is this is it you guys that's that's it for 2024 This is day two of my fermentation of my indigo and you can see we definitely have a sheen happening here on top of the water. You can see it all in here. So things are looking good. This is the first pail that had the most indigo leaves in it. So now I'll try and open up the other two. There is a sheen on the second bucket as well, but I've got a lot more leaves that have floated up to the top. So I'm going to fix that today. But uh, yeah, this one looks good. Looks good as well. You can see it right, right in here. So let's open the third bucket now. Okay, so this is the third bucket that has the least amount of leaves in it. And definitely I need to get these submerged gently, but uh, do not see any sheen happening on this one yet, so we'll give this one a few more days. Take care and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.